An angle consists of two different rays that have the same initial points. You'll note there's ray AC and there's also ray AB. And note that they both have A as an initial point. So this is going to be an angle. The rays are the sides of the angle and of particular interest is the vertex of the angle. So this is where the two initial points meet. This angle in particular that we have before us, we could name angle, and that's the symbol for angle, CAB. We could name this angle BAC, or we could actually name it angle A. But please note that the vertex is the letter that's going to be in the middle and then we use the other points to help define it. Usually it's smart to name an angle by the three points, keeping in mind that the vertex is going to be in the middle of the name. Let's name some angles here. So we have, for example, if we look at this big one on the outside like this, we have angle PQR. If we look at this smaller one right here, I have angle PQS. And if we look at this other one right here, I have angle SQR. Now mind you, they don't have to be in alphabetical order. So for example, I could have said angle RQS instead of angle SQR, and it would have been the same angle. Okay. But note that we didn't name any of these angles angle Q, and that's because it's not an appropriate name since I have three angles that share that same vertex. So if I say angle Q, which one are we talking about? We don't know. So to play it safe, we're going to name these angles by all three points. Recall a while back we had the segment addition postulate where different smaller parts of a line segment add up to a larger line segment. The same is true for the angle addition postulate. If I have small angles next to each other, you add up those angles, you get the bigger one. So we present to you the angle addition postulate based on the above picture. So this angle plus this angle is this angle. To give you an idea, for example, let's put some numbers on here. So if angle PQS were 20 degrees and angle SQR were 30 degrees, if I add those two up, I get the total angle, which is 50 degrees. That would be the measurement of angle PQR. Okay, here are some types of angles you're going to encounter. So this is, let's spit these up a bit. This is an acute angle. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. Um, so anything bigger than zero and smaller than 90. And everything in between. This is a right angle. A right angle is exactly equal to 90 degrees. You'll know that if we know it's a right angle, there will be a little square symbol in the angle itself. In the future, soon, and you may be aware of this already, if I have this little symbol, this also means perpendicular. Perpendicular also means they form a right angle. An obtuse angle is one of our wider angles and it's greater than 90 so 91 92 for example but it's going to be smaller than 180 okay so it can't be equal to 90 and it can't be equal to 180 but it can be anything between those two and then we have our straight angle which is equal to 180 degrees you'll note that it looks like opposite rays with the same vertex a and it also looks like a line it's equal to 180 for your summary, when naming angles, what's important to remember?